and this is the rear landing gear. Look at this, guys! Cool! Double fold landing gear. Wow! Driving this on land. Now this can turn left and right too. Landing gear off. Yeah! One more time. Realistic, guys! Landing gear on! Perfect landing! Yeah! Oh! Hey guys, what's up, what's up? Yes, I will teach you this landing gear mechanics. By the way, this is my tutorial jet. You can build this with these very easy tutorials. You will learn a lot from these videos, guys. And of course, these mechanics, you can apply this to your other builds, not just for this jet. Just to show you the mechanics, look simple and easy, right? <laughs> this is what I'll teach you how to do, step by step, so you can do it, even for beginners. So guys, let's fly, let's do this! So this is the jet nose, we gotta use these three middle blocks as door. Place guide block at the middle, with move 2, move 1 time. Select these three blocks and guide block last. Move it 1 time with move 10. Mirror this block, reduce scale like this. Place servo on it like this. Unbind servo with move 0.5, move one time. Delete this small block. Replace it with a bigger block. Make sure this doesn't touch the white block of the servo. This is the jet engine and we gotta use these three blocks as door. With scale 2, reduce scale of these blocks two times. It should look like this. Mirror each blocks like this. Scale each blocks one time. I just repaint so that it's easier to see. It should be this tree, okay? Now the center block of the jet engine, place guide block on it. Select the tree blocks and the guide block last. With move 10, move them to the side one time. Then clone them back to the jet engine. Delete this guide block. Flatten these blocks inwards. Change color to black. So the interior will be covered. It's up to you if you want to do this, guys. Select these three blocks, the middle one last. Clone them back to the jet nose. Turn color to black. Flatten them. Again, it's up to you if you want to do this. We just gonna clone these and the mechanics to the opposite side. I'll just color it for you to see. Because we gotta delete these blocks. With move 10, select all mechanics. Move one time. Mirror this block. Reduce scale like this. Place servo like this and again unbind it for a while. Delete this small block. Make the servo a little close to the door. Make sure the door doesn't touch the white block, okay? Select all with trowel tool. Then move them up one time with move 10. With move 20, move the mechanics back to the jet. But do not release them yet. With move 10, move them down one time. Now place guide block here at the middle. With scale 1, scale one time. Place block. Scale all sides like this. Mine, I use 0.8. You can make it a little smaller or bigger if you want. It depends on your build. I'm gonna use button for wheels. You can use something else if you want. And as you can see, we can extend this block more. So landing gear will have the same length as the door. Delete button for a while. With move 10, move this one time. Now place button. Guys, the design of the landing gear is up to you. Just make sure the design will not affect the mechanics that we gonna do. So place the blocks carefully. Now mirror this block. Scale it like this. Extend a little. Place servo like this. Delete this small block. It should look like this. And your landing gear should not touch the white block of the servo. Place block here. Place piston, then place block on the piston. Save and reload. Select all these except this block. Uncheck anchor, press the piston. Check anchor of these blocks. Select all these, select this block last. With move 10, move them one time back to the door. Scale this block, it should not touch the door. 
If you can make it a little bigger, do it. Just make sure it doesn't touch the door. There must be a minimum space of 0.1. And make sure this block holds the piston by scaling it. Move this guide block 3 times with move 2. Place piston on it like this. Unbind piston. Place block on the piston. Place block here. Then scale it to connect to this piston. It's up to you how you want to do it. Just make sure this doesn't touch any other parts of the mechanics. Place block here on this servo. I just scale it to make it close, but this should not touch the dark block, okay? Place block on it, then scale it to connect to this piston. It's up to you how you want to do it. Just make sure this doesn't touch any other parts of the mechanics. It should look like this. Move them up once more with move 10. Save and reload. Turn off collision of the mechanics. Select all except this block, then uncheck anchor. Press piston. Check anchor of these blocks. Move up one time with move 10. Make sure this block is attached to the jet. Set servo angle to 90 for both. If needed, you can extend the length of this. What I did is that I adjust the servo first, then this block, then scale it with the same value of trowel move. It's up to you as long as this doesn't affect the mechanics. If you have the same build as mine, you can follow this. Place a switch and bind to the servo. Uncheck anchor of these blocks. Press switch. Place block under. Then move it away. Then press switch again. Check anchor. Delete switch. Move one time with move two. Make it flat from top. This platform is to determine what would be the scale of the rear landing gear. So scale it to the rear like this. With match rotation, place guide block at the middle block. Place block on it, then scale all sides. Delete this guide block. Select this block and guide block last. With move 10, move one time. Mirror this block. With rotate 45, rotate them two times like this. Now as you can see here, we need to extend the landing gear. I'll try with two, but this might depend on your build too. Now the wheel reaches the platform and I'm okay with this. Delete for a while, scale this back to original size. Rotate back, delete this block, then mirror this. With point 0.1, scale this to separate them. Place button. Again guys, the design of this is up to you. Just make sure design will not affect the mechanics. So mine looked like this. Mirror this block here. Scale it like this. Extend a little. Then place servo like this. With move 0.5, move one time. Delete this small block. Replace it with a stronger block. Scale it to connect the servo and the landing gear block. It should look like this. Change servo angle to 90. Mirror this block. Scale it like this. With scale 2, scale it one time. Place servo on it. You can make the servo a little closer but make sure it doesn't touch any other blocks. Place block on it, then scale it to connect to this block. It should not touch the white block of the servo, okay? And make sure this does not touch the other servo. Place another servo like this. With move 0.5, move one time. Change angle to 90 and this one too. Place block on this servo. Scale it. Place block here and scale it. Again, should not touch any other blocks. <laughs> then scale it to connect to this block. It's up to you how you do it. Just make sure it doesn't touch any other blocks. Place block here. Make it a little closer. Place piston. Place block on the piston. Save and reload. Select this mechanics except this block. Uncheck anchor. Press piston. Guys, check anchor of these blocks first, then move it one time with move 10. With match rotation check, place block on this servo. Scale it to connect to the block. It should look like this. Place block here, then scale it to connect to the front landing gear mechanics. Guys, again, turn off collision of all the mechanics. And yes, anchor too. Delete this block, change angle to 90. 
Delete this block actually. Mirror this block. Scale it to connect to this dark block. Make sure it doesn't touch any other blocks. It should look like this. Check reverse rotation of these servos. Set all servo speed to 1. The guide block is at the center. Close it away. Place guide blocks on both sides. Scale the width of both blocks longer than the mechanics. In this case, I scale it to 30. Select the rear landing gear mechanics and these blocks. And select these guide blocks. Then mirror it on this side. I'll move it back with move 62 because both of my wood block is 30, right? And the gold guide block is 2. So when I move them back, it's accurate. Now this how it should look. Mirror this block so these two will be connected. You can scale it if you want. With rotate 45, rotate all these clone servos to the opposite side. This servo, check reverse rotation. These two, uncheck reverse rotation. You can move them closer to the grass, but make sure it doesn't touch the grass. This is what I call assemble switch. This is binded with the assemble piston of the canopy. If you don't have this, place a switch. Because we are going to bind all the pistons we place for the mechanics. They are also called assemble pistons. And also these four servos. Bind it with the assemble switch. Now place another switch. This time, it's for the servos. Bind all the servos to the switch, including these four. Make the mechanics transparent. Delete this platform. Select all your build. Then unselect one block. So when we uncheck anchor, the jet will not fall. Then press the assemble switch. And then press the landing gear switch. Now place a block at the middle again, then scale its height the same as the landing gear. In my case, 4.5 is the scale I need. Now do not save, okay? Load your build again. Delete the platform. Place block again at the center. Mine, I will scale it to 4.5. But guys, again, it depends on your build. Just make sure this doesn't touch any other parts of the mechanics. Mirror both sides. Scale both like this. Scale to the sides. Mine, I scaled both to 10, but it depends on your build. Mirror each one time. Then scale both like this. Make both as long as your, make them as long as your jet, or almost as long. Again, make sure they don't touch any other mechanics. Scale this to make sure it holds to the jet. Turn off collision of these blocks. But these two do not turn off. Make them invisible, and then save and reload. For PC users, place both motors. It's up to you how many and you can use normal ones too. Just make sure these motors will not touch any other mechanics including the landing gears. Bind them with a different key. For example, mine, I bind forward with T, right with H, left with F, and backwards with G. Make them transparent, of course. Now I place a jet turbine. This is for landing. It's up to you how you want to place this. But again, this should not touch any other blocks. Now with rotate 15, rotate one time or two times. Must be pointing downwards. Mine, I rotated two times. Bind this and make it invisible too. Oh, by the way, change jet speed to 25 or 50. But me, I prefer 50. If you have the same build as mine, select these doors and guide blocks last. Move one time with move point 3. Now before we test this, I just want to show you the simple animation of the landing gears. This is the front landing gear. Kinda simple, right? And this is the rear landing gear. Look at this, guys! Cool! Double fold landing gear. Okay, let's fly now! Uncheck anchor, press assemble switch, press the landing gear first. Alright, it's working! Yeah! <laughs> let's get inside the jet, guys! Oh yeah! Driving this on land! Now this can turn left and right too! Awesome, right? Okay, let's take off! Landing gear off! Yeah! One more time! Damn! 
Okay, let's land now. So this is the landing jet turbine, guys. Wow! Realistic, guys. Landing gear on. Perfect landing. Yeah! Oh! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you learned something. By the way, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now and click the notification bell. Please like and share the video. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye!